Let's start with your reading, Virgo. Today, we're going to look into your recent past, current energies and near future, and then we will immediately clarify in order to find out more details about your messages. Now, let's begin right away with your reading. Okay. All right, Virgo, you're coming up reversed over here. The main energy for the reading today is the Hermit reversed. You know, this is definitely you, but not in the position I'd like you to be. What we see with this card is a very strong and important message. Stop thinking or overthinking about a situation because there is actually a message that it's trying to get to you, a message that can be heard just with silence and, and peace, especially. We all have a tendency to think that messages are made of written words, right? But you should know that when you let yourself connect to your intuition, you start receiving all kinds of messages that can truly help you solve an issue or at least move forward. There might be something that you're trying to purposely silence and also just put aside. And we need to see what is to, what that is together with how to solve this issue for you, okay? So let's do that. First of all, in the recent past, we have the world and the four of cups. I mean, look at this, Virgo. We see an immediate confirmation of everything we said so far with this four of cups. There is something here that you are trying not to look into because you don't want to, you don't feel ready to. You might feel out of control when it comes to certain thoughts or feelings, something that really made you feel complete and happy at some point. And right now you just decide to repress it before it takes over. It's as if something is living only in your mind and you don't want to talk about it or let it out for fear that it will become real. As you can tell, there's a lot going on here and we'll see what this is about when we clarify. It's very important to understand as much as possible of this. In the present, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. You know, the first thing that comes to mind, especially with the Queen of Cups, is mirrored energy. Definitely unexpected for me, to be honest, let alone for you, but there is clearly something here you do not know about. Something that relates to that world energy, potentially to the other person, and that maybe you should know about instead. You got to a point where you cannot distinguish anymore in between your intuition and your fear. And although certain messages are, are trying to get to you, you are ignoring them because you just don't think they're real for some reason. But they might be. We'll see what this is about as soon as we clarify this message. In the near future, we have the Four of Swords and the Magician. Two important messages coming up here. First of all, you're about to manifest a fast move forward right here. Something that will really help you out on your current journey. Helping you getting to where you're really supposed to be, you know? which is not stuck in the place that you are at right now. But also what we see here is a growing energy around someone who really wants to appear fine, who really wants to appear as though nothing is hurting them, you know? But they're trying so hard to give this energy out that it's making me a little suspicious. And anyway, we'll come back to this and see what this is about, okay? All right, let's start clarifying and let's begin with your recent past. Mm. All right, five of ones over here and then we have the veil, the phoenix and the orbs. 
stick with me on this one because it's definitely an important message over here even if these cards might be unknown to you what i see is that you have been caring so much inside of you virgo so much that you're trying to just handle by yourself solve on your own without the need um for support from anyone you know in a way i i definitely admire your strength i see right here with the phoenix that you just want to rise from your own ashes you do not want to start something new while relying on someone else and while doing the same mistakes that maybe you have made up to this point the mistakes that brought you to this place but do not forget that asking for help is also a sign of strength the main issue here seems to be about words words that have been said or words that have not been said potentially a conversation or an event that brought up information that you did not expect to hear something that made you feel as though you were standing in front of a strange stranger someone who you did not recognize anymore and someone who felt very different from that person you originally fell in love with this veil card and this energy this water that is um, on this person is washing away everything fake that they were giving out and it's just leaving behind who they really are there is definitely some sort of road awakening that with this orbs card just changed your orbit change change your trajectory and unfortunately it put you in a position where you found it hard to move on and again distinguish what was real and what wasn't anymore there's a lot more that you should know about this so let's keep going with your messages and let's see what's going on in the present <laughs> I knew it. Okay. All right. So, right here, the entertainer with the shapeshifter. Very important message. But also we have the two of cups and the pathfinder. As I thought at first, Virgo, whatever you are feeling and experiencing at the moment is an energy that actually doesn't belong to you alone. But it belongs to the both of you. This two of cups again is another it's another mirrored energy and the the thing is that for now it might sound impossible to you at the moment but the truth is that regardless of what was right or sorry of who was right and who was wrong you both ended up being equally hurt by this in a way that neither of you really anticipated you know there is a lot of regret but also a lot of denial with these two cards, which is making me think that at least for now, none of this will actually come up on the surface and transform into action. The entertainer, the shapeshifter, someone who changes depending on the situation, depending on the message that they want to give out, but they never show how they really feel. Now, you should still know that the pain is shared in between the both of you and you're not the only one who was left behind by this regardless of what they said what they did sometimes you hurt people and then you're left with the sense of not being proud of yourself and your own actions and i think that's what's going on with them right now and it's making them feel lost making them feel as though they need to find peace they need to find peace with you potentially but how how do they do that after doing whatever it is that they have done not easy definitely but let's see where this energy is actually taking the both of you in the near future okay <laughs> listen the nine of cups reversed and the eight of cups over here with the geomancer right here which is the queen of cups 
It's an energy that really wants to be nurturing, really wants to fix what was broken. But the first thing that we see, especially with these two cards, is someone who's really trying to appear as though they were not impacted by this, still in the near future, wanting to appear as though they are living their best life, everything they have, their wishes came true, but this card is reversed, which is saying exactly the opposite. The truth is that this energy, this approach, it's not sustainable long term at all. And I do see someone here resurfacing, but resurfacing in silence, slowly doing things that will make them show up again in your world. Now they are staying quiet when it comes to their real emotions, but not for long. Truth is that Love and feelings are not a switch that you can just turn on and off. It's not black or white. It's something that comes and goes and that at times makes one of the two of you at least wonder, why do I still think about this? And how many times am I going to pretend that you're still here or that you can come back? The fact is that right now you're not expecting anything from this person, from the situation and for good reason. But there is so much more coming from this. And we really, really need to dig into this in order to understand what it is, how it's going to impact you, and how you should handle it overall, Virgo. Because, again, back to the question, how many times am I going to allow you to hurt me or to make me believe something that it's not there? With this Eight of Cups, someone is very much impacted by this, the ending, by whatever has happened between the two of you. And again, someone wants to fix things over here. But there is a difference, a huge difference in between wanting something and making it happen. So let's do this. Let's flip the reading and see what is really going on on the other side of the picture. Let's see what you should expect from this in the next few months and how your overall journey is going to evolve next. This is the time for clarity and honesty, Virgo, so that you can handle whatever comes next with strength, with determination, without just feeling at the mercy of whatever is happening around you. So let's keep going with the reading and let's try to find out as many details as possible. Now, if you want to dive deeper into the messages with me, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week, I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free, personal, live, 45-minute reading. I send out emails to confirm every Monday morning. Please make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now. Stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Virgo. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the incoming events, the Ace of Swords. And really, it all starts from here. There is some sort of information that is going to come up about this person. And it's definitely one of the reasons why you have been thinking about this lately especially this ace of swords could represent a message from them or just some sort of information that a third party is going to um to give you about them maybe even by mistake but it doesn't matter how it's going to come to you this is what is going to change things for you we will see what this is going to be next but what we see right away is that this is going to leave you with a question, with a big question that you will try to internalize, obviously, given the hermit, but we'll see what that is going to be. Overall, it's clear that this energy is just calling you for some reason. Something is taking you here and we need to find out why, Virgo. So let's start clarifying. Oh, sorry about that. And let's see what that Ace of um, Swords is going to be about. Mm, Queen, of, Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords. 
and the hangman with the, the king of swords oof all right there is a lot to unpack over here now what we see right away though is that someone and